Copy and work. When you're done with that, you can stow the spids in the crew lock bag. Then you're going to translate over to the VTEB bag for the vent tool setup. Copy. Shell Lindgren uh, in the final steps of his work uh, to close a pair of quick disconnects uh, with a jumper, a cable to isolate uh, the prime and backup cooling systems on the port truss of the International Space Station. Chell Lindgren, uh, extravehicular crew member number one, and Scott Kelly, uh, extravehicular crew member number two for today's spacewalk, uh, moving in uh, separate paths. Chell Lindgren uh, on one uh, section of the port truss of the International Space Station, uh, retrieving uh, a series of tools called vent tools uh, for the ammonia system on the uh, International Space Station. These tools will be inserted uh, at a vent port uh, to enable uh, residually trapped ammonia. Once uh, uh, the vent panel is configured properly, uh, the uh, early external thermal control system or the backup system uh, for the cooling of the station uh, will be topped off about a 20 minute procedure. Okay, uh, but like first, uh, Scott Kelly bag. must configure the ammonia tank assembly uh, to begin that activity. L bracket to handrail 5321. I'm going to read both of you through the big picture on the fill once uh, Chell is in position and complete with his steps. So uh, big picture for both of you, our next step is the fill. And so, Scott, I have a few steps for you to get that valve ready for a quick close. Does that all make sense? Yes. The thermal motor booty is removed from the QD extender at M2. Okay, Chell, I copy that. That uh, is the backup radiator that was initially used uh, to dispel heat uh, from uh, the integrated electronics assembly and all of its associated systems in the uh, very uh, early neophyte days of the International Space Station. Hey, Scott, we're, we're just talking about it, and hopefully this isn't too late for you, but if, if that uh, wire tie doesn't look like it wants to come off, you could leave it on the pip pin. Three hours and 48 minutes into uh, the spacewalk. Chell Lindgren and uh, Scott Kelly uh, are moving along very nicely uh, with the timeline, having started their spacewalk at 5.22 a.m. Central Time this morning. Okay, and uh, we're expecting 45 to 50 turns. Everything going well, uh, the trailing uh, thermal control radiator folding up like an accordion, as planned. Looks like it's coming down nicely. We concur. When you get there, okay, you're going to... the anti-rotation... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Just for Scott, when you get there, you're going to install the swing arm whiff into the Terra with the arm pointing zenith, uh, black on back, and pull twist test. This is Mission Control Houston approaching the four-hour mark into uh, today's spacewalk. Uh, the latest task now complete, that uh, being the retraction of the trailing thermal control radiator, the backup radiator uh, for the port uh, truss cooling system.